Hi guys, seeing as we're already a week in November, I thought I'd bring you my August wrap up, because that's the done thing, at least in my mind. And my November TBR. These are in no particular read order, it's just what I'm grabbing from how I've stacked it, so here it goes. In October, I picked up this book, I'll Give You the Sun. Me and Brandy decided to buddy read this. I'll leave her channel link in the thingy. She's awesome. Go check her out. She's also doing NaNoWriMo this month, so if you're participating or anything like that, go jump over to her channel and give her a heads up. I'm so glad that I did buddy read this with Brandy because this book is just all about the feels. And the imagery that's actually put into this book is just insane. I mean, the phrases that a 13 year old boy uses to describe something is just mind blowing. And I was just really happy that I got to discuss that with someone as we were reading it. And it was just, it just made the experience of this book for me a whole heap better. And I love this book. I gave it five out of five stars. It is absolutely amazing and well deserved all the hype that surrounds it and I just need to pick up more by Jandy Nelson because if she writes other things as good as she wrote this one, um, I'm in. All in. I finally read Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. This one was a tough one for me <laughs> because out of all the other Morgan Matson's books, this one deals with kind of a darker topic. It just took a little longer to read knowing that it wasn't going to have such a happy ending as all her other books have had but it was still a really great book and I still loved it and I gave it a four out of five stars. Then on to The First Fifteen Lies of Harry August by Klein Off. It's got such a buttery cover. That's not the point. Yeah, once I actually put everything aside reading wise and just other social YouTube you know life things and just picked this book up and just read it all the way through. It made it so much better, in my mind anyway, because obviously in this book it does leap from time to time to time. If you've watched my re September reading fails, you'll understand more about what this book is. I'll link that down below. I did really enjoy this book, so it ended up getting a 4 out of 5 stars. Then I got round to this one. Jake Finds Out, number two in the Making Out series by Catherine Applegate. Because this is book two, I'm not going to give you the ins and outs. Because, you know, spoilers. I honestly don't think that anybody else really cares about what this series is about. But I'm still going to reread it. This one got a fire out of five. Then on to the Ellen Hopkins portion of this month. I read Smoke. And I don't know if it's just my copies, but does anyone else's... Ellen Hopkins do this because if it does I feel your pain so I'll hold it from this corner ha ah, foiled this was the follow-up to burned again this book took slow going for me not because the writing was bad or I wasn't enjoying the story it's just the the characters in it and I just couldn't believe how some of those characters were acting and it was just so frustrating that I kind of had to put the book down and just walk away for a little bit, like go away, have a cuppa, just chillax and then go, yeah, it's okay, it's fiction. And then my mind would go on the tangent of like, yeah, but the there are people that are really like that out there. And then I was just like, yes, but it's a book, chill. Yeah, my inner monologue's fun. So... <laughs> I did like this book and I did enjoy the dual perspective by bringing Jackie's aspect into it. I thought that was a really smart play. This one got a 4 out of 5 stars. Then we have Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. Same cover issue. Rage. What can I say about this book? Hot damn. <laughs> I really, really like this book. The three perspectives that you read from in this book 
are all really interesting and very different characters to read from. This was a ridiculously fast read and I really didn't expect the ending of this book. It was a complete surprise. It's not often that I get shocked by things in books. I kind of have the crappy foresight thing of knowing where things are going and yeah. I can't help it, my brain just automatically works it out ahead of time. Just a stupid brain. But this book is great. Go read it. Five out of five stars. Sorry if my arm keep my arms keep getting higher and higher, it's because I'm having to stack the books on the arms of my chair. Because I'm a genius. It, you know, that's not gonna work. <laughs> but yeah. Do this and look natural. Following up with my library books of this month. Well, for the past three months, to be fair. I got round to A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, the illustrated version. As I've just said with Impulse, my brain tends to automatically work everything out. With this one, it's not exactly difficult to see where it's going and what is actually happening, because, you know, you pretty much understand it within the first couple of pages, I guess. But this book just kind of lacks for me. It was like, meh. It was well written. They're not taking that away from it. I do want to pick up some, th some other stuff by Patrick Ness because I do enjoy his writing from what I've read in this but this story was just a little lacklustre for me and I didn't really enjoy it that much. The artwork's great though. This one got a 3 out of 5 stars. Also got round to all I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. As I've said previously, I've not read many memoirs and things like that. I mean, I read Felicia Day's autobiography and loved it. But this one didn't grab me in any specific way. It seemed more of a kind of self-help book in a kind of way. And I'm not taking it away from Carrie or her experiences and things, because it's like, she is like 10 years younger than me and because of that I did find some of the topics in here a little condescending because it's just like yeah I kind of already figured that out but obviously this is her book seen from, through her eyes and it is called All That I Know Now. As I said in my video when I actually hauled this from the library I love Carrie, I watch her YouTube videos, I find her highly entertaining just this book wasn't for me she is writing another book, which is actually a fiction book. And I will be picking that one up, reading that, seeing how that goes. This one, sadly, got a three out of five stars for me. Then the last of the library books was this beautiful, amazing creature of, of bookdom, Clockwork Angel. I have no idea why it took me so long to get into this series, because, hot damn, I love it, love it. I was completely blown away by this trilogy. I mean, I've read the mortal instruments and I was like I liked them uh, but this one was just on a whole new level this obviously got a five out of five stars I freaking loved it and if you are late to the party with this series like me just go give it a go please 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 do it do it it's amazing go go look look ah and side note I understand why everyone loves loves Will Herondale so much but I like Jem <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so there's my two pennies on that score. I love Jem. Then on to Library of Souls, the third and final book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children trilogy. All right, said so in the first try. All right. This book was a very, very satisfying wind up to the trilogy. It had all of the things that I loved from the first and second books and a whole heap more action thrown in and just the evolution of some of the things that happen in here is just really, 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 really good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Don't want to spoil you if you haven't got around to this yet. So go read it. Do it. Do it. you love it. It's awesome. 5 out of 5 stars. Obviously I read Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer this month because duh. I love this book. It's like Rick Ryden has actually made a pact with all these gods 
and just whenever he puts pen to paper or taps the keys on the keyboard it's, it just comes out gold. Me being the huge Rick Ryden fan that I am, loved it and you know for a fact that no matter how much I love Rick Ryden, if he somehow, somehow, <laughs> touch wood that never happens, manages to write a bad book, I would so definitely let you guys know because if I don't like it, I'm telling you about it. But this one, it's just, it's just awesome. I love it. Go read it! So on to the audiobooks that I read this month. Not that many, to be fair. We have Onyx and Opal, book two and book three in the Look series. They both got a four out of five stars. I also read, listened to, whatever you want to call it, The Young Elites by Marie Lu. I did enjoy this book. I'm really hopeful to see where it goes. I now have got audio of the Rose Society, so if I get through all my TBR for November, it might sneak its way on there. I gave the Young Elites four out of five stars. And the last audiobook was Progeny of Gods by Jeffree Storm. I am not going to say too much here because I am filming a full review on this book. I did enjoy it. There was just a few things that were a little off, personally. But full review to come, hopefully, eventually. Please, God. <laughs> but I did like it overall, so it got a four out of five stars. So out of my 18 books that I decided to read this month, I managed to read 15 of them. Which is not bad going. The ones that I didn't get round to were The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I started it and then just got sidetracked with other books. So it just got put to the side, which is a bit rubbish, I know, but it happens. I also didn't complete Six of Crows because I just wasn't feeling it. The way that I was reading it or the way that I was feeling at that time, it was just like I was forcing myself to read it. I wasn't enjoying it, so I was like, okay, put this book down, come back to it later. I'm not going to force myself to read something that I'm not enjoying at that point in time. I will get round to reading it because I really did enjoy the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo. So, it will happen. I'll just have to be in the mood for it, I guess. And the other book that I didn't complete this month was obviously Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I'm not DNFing it, but I'm not gonna keep putting it on my TBRs just to see that big old chunk of fail sat there. I th it's gonna be one of those where it's like, if I pick it up and read some of it, I'll do it. If not, it's not that big of a deal because I do want to read it, but I'm just not going to keep putting it on my TBR just so it, I feel like a failure every month for not getting round to it. So, that was my October wrap-up. On to the November TBR! Woo! I'll just shimmy on this way. Sh see me shimmy. 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 Because I have quite a few audio slash ebooks to show you, so... That's where I insert the pictures, you know. Yeah. In no particular order. I'm planning to get round to Alive by Scott's last name I've forgotten. Sorry, Scott. Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. As I've already told you, I kind of read these already. Oops, but you know, it's in November so it counts. Origin. The final book in the Look series, Easy by Tamara Weber, Dumpling by Julie Murphy, and I will be rereading The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. So, on to the physicals. Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. See, I did read it. Just not all of it. I am rereading Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because I want to give myself a little refresher before I read this. And this is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, the Simon and Baz fan fiction that is written in Fangirl, but Rainbow Rowell's take on it. So I'm excited. <laughs> Lastly, the book that I've chosen so far is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. 
because this is the Bookflosion book of the month because I've had really good luck with those so far. <laughs> But, yeah, this book is written a whole heap of weird like, but I'm excited to get into it. Um, you can't see it right now, but uh, up there I have S by J.J. Abrams and the other person I'll annotate here. And that book just seems so interesting, but I've not got round to reading it yet because I know you've got to read it at least twice, kind of like once through as the book and then kind of like with their annotations that are in the sides and all the side bits and clues that they leave for each other in the book. But it kind of feels like that to me, in a way. If you haven't heard about S, go Goodreads it. Or at least Google it, because it, it just sounds cool as hell. And I will let you know what I think about this one in my November wrap up, hopefully. But I still have to pick a UBC book, so here goes. Which one? Which one? Please be kind of a short one. Oh. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. This is hopefully a book I'll get round to reading this month. Because I've had such a good time with, with the UBC books so far. Since I've started it, <laughs> I think I've read each UBC book the month after and then still pulled a new one. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> that is it for today's video. Thank you for sticking around. If I don't manage to edit like a boss, to, let's be fair, probably won't. Um, if you like this video, give it that all important thumb. Comment down below, tell me what you think about the books that I've chosen or if you want any more information on how I feel about any of these books. If you feel like hitting that subscribe button, feel free. Because it is. As always, the shirt I'm wearing today is this one. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye! Blah. Ah, too many books. No, not enough shelves, that's my problem. <gasps> Duh. Red smoke. Stupid cover. Oh, my arm's tired. <sighs> oh, do I want to be sick and twisted? I just want to say it crept up on me. Rind uh, rind up. Yeah, okay. L yeah, la, 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 la. I always want to say Megan Spooner. Damn you. Tackle the bunnies. I have something in my eye. Awesome. Seriously. My eyes. My eyes. Well, I. Woo!